Well, we're in December and freezing temperatures are headed our way. A lot of Iowans, though, are still biking to and from their work and school in some cases. Today we talked with some dedicated year-round bicyclists about how they manage to keep cruising through even the winter months. With that in mind, let's go live right now to Kate of the WL Reporter, Ashley Neighbor. Ashley's back in Cedar Rapids for us tonight after going to Iowa City earlier to talk with a University of Iowa professor and also who happens to be an avid cyclist. And she's live with more on some of the advice they have for if you're going to ride in the winter. Well, that's right, Ron. I hate to admit it, but I don't think you're going to catch me on a bicycle out in these temperatures. But if you are one of the Iowans that's going to be braving the bike lanes, it's important to know what to do once they become filled with snow. Do you use the sidewalk or the street? Well, here's what some avid cyclists had to say. Yeah, so the tires are actually really important. So one thing is the fenders. So these very long fenders keep the splash off of you and the bike. No matter the weather, you can catch assistant professor Steven Spears really commuting well. to work on two wheels. I've been bike commuting for more than 20 years and I ride about 5,000 miles a year maybe. Bike lanes tend to be plowed last, which is why Spears says ride where you feel safest. That could mean the traffic lane. You can buy tires that actually have studs on them even that are that work really well in ice conditions which are which is probably the most dangerous condition you know that you can face in the winter instead of swapping tires ui wrestler connor corbin has a winter bike more fit for the snowy conditions i just have different bikes so like in the summer i ride my road bike much much faster this is more like the winter bike a little heavier tires more traction spears says days after snow melt are the slickest to see a slick spot, you'll want a powerful light and a helmet. I've had many crashes where I've fallen and broken a helmet, and it's been in situations where you think I'm perfectly safe and nothing's going to happen. And that's a good example of the black ice situation that I was in. He's not the only one who's had a wipeout. Over January, we, we stay here and practice most of the, the winter break, and you know we get a lot of ice and snow, and so I've definitely wiped out several times. Which is why wearing reflective and bright clothing is a must, making sure drivers steer clear and you stay safe. Now this year, Cedar Rapids actually finished up redesigning their bike lanes in the downtown area, and Spears tells me that Iowa City is currently working on a new master plan for bike lanes in over there, so more lanes to come in that city. Now if you are going to opt for the sidewalk, Spears says to use caution, especially around driveways. Live in the Cedar, Cedar Rapids newsroom, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. Ashley, thank you very much. I've actually put my bike away for the year, but if you've never ridden in bicycle or a bicycle in snow conditions before, Professor Spears says, yes, a very good idea to practice a bit around a park or so before actually going out on a heavily traveled roadway. 